Welcome to this Techthusiasm setup vlog. I got the new SVS SB16 Ultra subwoofers. We're going to be installing them in the room. In order to do that, I need to run more XLR cables. I need to get more wiring configuration and stuff set up. Unfortunately for this video, I don't have the ABM90. It is on its way, so we'll do that part. But we'll do that setup configuration, ABM70 replacement in another video. But in this vlog, we're going to focus on just the addition of the subwoofers basically to the room getting them prepped, getting them wired, and a couple of other kind of improvements and such that I want to make in conjunction with that. One of the greatest things I think about my theater design originally is that I did work within the original confines uh, of the wall space. I didn't run wires in the walls. I didn't tear things up. So I have surface mounted cabling that goes uh, through the front of the room, kind of behind the screen where my rack is in the other space there. And all of my cables, my speaker wire, my HDMI to the projector, and all of that runs uh, surface mounted essentially uh, behind the curtains along the, the bottom of the walls. Well, I'm adding more stuff to the room. I have to wire more things in. I've basically been filling up the channels uh, that, that route those cables. So I, we need to essentially kind of start all over in a sense. I am gonna be pulling down the Velcro curtains basically all the way around the space. We're gonna put up more channels, kind of re-jigger uh, which cables are ran in which, uh, in which channels try to essentially get the speaker wire away from the HDMI, the Ethernet, and the other types of cables that are running through. So we did just unbox and open up the SB16s. Check out the other video for that. A couple other things that we've got to add in to the space here. <clears throat> First, of course, with new subwoofers, we got to run cables to them. My favorite cable, what I've been using pretty, pretty much dominantly for audio cables for a while now, world's best cable available on Amazon. This is the Mogami 2549 wire with the Nutric gold connectors. I have both uh, a 40 foot and a 50 foot cable to make sure that I can get to the back, uh, what would be the back right corner of the room as well as the back left. So I think the Arundals are gonna go back there. I think the SVSs are gonna start in the front. I already have cables to reach the front positions. So this will get me the ability to wire in all four of those subwoofers directly. Something else that I was looking for uh, in, in conjunction with setting up the subwoofers a little bit nicer was some power cords. So this is these were off of Amazon as well. Kind of a no-name-ish brand, Sparking, uh, I guess. But these are 16-gauge uh, power cables. The interesting thing about these power cables, though, is that they are double right angles. So we have a right angle for the power connector, three prong, and we have a right angle for the plug side as well. Again, 16 gauge cables, plenty, I think, to, to carry uh, amperage, to carry current to something like a subwoofer. But because my plugs are down behind those curtains, I don't like having uh, big, heavy, regular plugs sticking out. They make the curtains kind of, they stick out underneath the curtains, essentially. The right angle plug instead will be nice and flush. Um, in the space underneath the overhang of the curtain and the right angle on the other side will give me the ability to get the subwoofers a little closer in to the walls and all of that. So these are little two foot cables. They came in a two pack. I think two feet will be plenty long enough to get me where I need to go. And so this is just a, a nice little uh, installation accessory uh, efficiency boost there. One other thing I did pick up to try to optimize the, the space a little bit is a new is a new power strip. Basically, I wanna use this for, of course, the, the audio advice revelation chairs there. I have five of them to plug in and with an eight foot cord, and again, love it, that right angle style power connector plug into the wall. I won't have something sticking out to plug in the chairs from underneath the curtains. This will kind of just clean that up and I'll finally take the action to like tie up all of the, all of the little excess cable power cords and such for each of the chairs, get that all nice and structured cleanly back there behind them. And then lastly, the other thing that we'll be working with here, this is just from Home Depot, Legrand, a high capacity cord cover kit. This is a multi-pack. It does come with some connectors and some elbows and stuff. I won't really be using those, but it was a more efficient way to buy a bunch of length. I bought two of these kits. We'll see if we end up using both of them. There's four three foot nine inch sections of channel in there. They're just sticky back. You peel off the peel off the, the film on the back, stick them up on the wall. I've had the other ones in here for a very long time and they haven't come down off of the walls. And then they have basically like a little locking clip kind of thing. You lay the cable into the top and then you clip them 
back up. Let's get started. Step one, take all the curtains down and, and get ready to, to run these wires in a new way. So here's a view of everything, kind of ready to go with the curtains down. You can kind of see here that hole in the wall goes through behind my AV rack, the one that I'm always usually standing in front of in a lot of videos. The white channels carry cables, speaker cables, HDMI and ethernet to the JVC projector and the XLR to the subwoofers in the back. One cable has already ran there because I did put the Arundels, one Arundel in the back some time ago. I pulled the lower curtains down. I'm not gonna pull these upper curtain sections down. Those I can just lift up and work behind. I may have been actually a little premature about buying those channels. I think I may be able to just get the subwoofer cable in to these channels as they are. Essentially, as we come across from the front of the room, the speaker wire for all seven base, uh, base level speakers comes through there, again, along with the XLRs, HDMI, and the Ethernet. I do have two channels along the front because there was more wire. The three, uh, three wires for the three front speakers, of course, need to come through. And then they go into the wall underneath the curtain and then up to the in walls with all of these Focal 1000 series. But when we get past this speaker here, this position right here, it switches to just one channel because we've already, we no longer need to run three of the speaker wires. And then we, we continue along, continue along the baseboard. You can see this big long curtain segment here on the floor. We've got, let me squeeze in through here. We've got the speaker wire going into the wall, it goes up inside the wall to each of the speakers there. That's the right side surround through the corner, through the elbow, and then over here, this is where one subwoofer will sit, one of the Arundels, and then back behind this curtain is a door. And we go up and over the door. For the XLR cables, though, the 50-footer is just gonna go across the base of the door over to this other side. This is where the other Arundel is gonna go in this corner right here. I've got a plug, and we'll have that 50-foot XLR coming to right here. So I'm pretty lucky, and I didn't plan this room for home theater. However, a lot of things worked out in my favor. I ended up with plugs where I needed them in order to service all of these subwoofers, thankfully, and, uh, and everything works out with the curtains. So step one, I think next here will be to kind of pull, get all the cables uh, in the right spots and rejigger some of these channels. And we'll see actually, maybe again, I don't need to actually run the second set of channels along those walls. I can just return those, just return those to Home Depot, save some money, get my money back. Awesome. Just to give an idea, this is that hole underneath the bottom left of the screen that punches through the wall to get behind the AV rack. So we can see all that speaker wire coming through. The black line that goes through now is the ethernet for the projector. And then this aqua, aqua blue color cable is an HDMI. That's a fiber optic RUI Pro 65 footer. Of course, everything wires in uh, to the back of the preamp and then the amplifiers and stuff down below there. Parasounds and the AVM70 still in the rack right now. I did pull out uh, the existing XLR cables, these have Nutric Silvers, and what was available for the 50-foot was the Nutric Golds. I already use Nutric Gold connectors for all of the, the other connections in the system. I'm going to take these couple of Silvers. Uh, one was a 40-foot, it says 20, that was actually a 40, and one was a 10. And then we've got the new 40 and the 50 here. Got my big old, big old bin of cables. Something else that I really like, I bought these a long time ago, probably from Amazon, I guess. Uh, dots cord identifier kit they they have these they're just these little plastic snap-on bits they come with little colored inserts they're colored and numbered which is awesome so i'm going to rejigger all of these so that i number the subwoofers one to four with the cables that are coming through the wall that's really the only way to identify uh, which ones are coming through which cables are which coming through the wall and as i push them all through as well I'll, I'll put the labels on at least to start, but I won't leave the labels on when they're actually in the room as they'll all be linked specifically to where they're going. I've already got some of the other ones that I need in here. We've got about a 10 foot run to that front left subwoofer, maybe a 20 foot run, 15, 
to the front right, and then the 40 and 50 will get us into the back. Another quick tip, I think the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna start with the longest run first. So there's the 50 foot cable, and we gotta make sure we have enough slack in the room here, but we gotta make sure we can also get to the subwoofer. So I like to go ahead and plug one in to one of the subwoofer ports there. That's make sure that I always have enough room <laughs> to reach the plug uh, in, in the space here. I'll push this other end through. This will also make sure that I push the right end through. Don't, don't accidentally do it the wrong way. And then we'll start basically kind of roughly run this around the room and then start putting it into the, into the channels. The 50 foot cable is pulled. This is the back left subwoofer position. If we're looking at the front of the room there, so there's the plug, that 90 degree cable sitting pretty right here. There's the XLR, ran through the channels. This other plug is for the projector. So this actually goes through behind this curtain. There's a better look of the door. And then up, 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 up to behind the projector up there. So I have that black XLR cable kind of just going across the front of the door right now. I may stick a channel on the door to hold it a little better or stick a little small channel as well uh, just right there too i think that might be all of the all the channels that i actually need to need to add in all right both back subs the iron dolls are in now put the curtains back up i might have actually needed a three foot power cable back here versus a two but i got it to work everything's spaced out pretty much equidistant from the sides not quite all the way in the corner if I do want to go to the corners, I need to again get a slightly longer power cable over there. I'll clean up the chair power cables probably last. I'll take a little bit of a break, get some lunch. All these curtains are back up. I did not have to put up any more channels. No, no more required here. Both XLR lines fit there. And then down back behind those rear diffusion absorption panels it worked out okay to kind of just have the cable go along the bottom of the door. It's probably wiser not to stick something to a like solid maple door anyway and potentially mark it up if that ever needs to come off. So you can't see any wires while well, barring these power cables. But the subwoofer wires are all hidden away nice and tight up there. Good to go. Uh, SVS is next in the fronts. The SVS are in. Six foot XLR cable to the left front, 15 foot through that bottom channel over to the right. A little bit off the corner because of the angled base traps that we have there, but it's hugging the black carpet, which is perfect because then we put the curtain back up and we hide all of the white from the seating position view. No white baseboard trim visible at the front of the room. And we got a plug over there, got a plug right behind this one. Very excited to get these fired up and get some measurements going. All right, so here we are behind the chairs. My son and I just tied up all the power cables. I bought this power strip. You can see the growing, glowing orange light there. Six plugs, but needed five for the chairs and Velcroing it down to the crossbar behind where other wires of the chairs go in. Of course, that's, that's the one cable that'll snake out to plug in across the wall over there but I routed or we routed the cords of every chair along their cross beams, mating them up together down underneath. You can actually see the plug or the wires going through between the chairs right there. Super nice and clean. I'm gonna put these backs down and we'll have one wire and no mess uh, coming out back behind the seats now. Boom, and there we are. Backs Velcro down, one cable coming out. I take all the blankets and stuff and set it down back here again. Need to figure out what to do with this air purifier as well. I'm not sure if that's actually still going to stay down here or not. But yeah, oh man, so good. So nice, nice and clean. And there is the final view of the front stage with the SB16s. Front left corner, front right corner. They're powered on. I haven't done any configuration yet. I'll get into that. Coming up in another video, Arundel's sitting pretty in the back. One and two. I just need the AVM 90 to come and I can really power up all four of these boys. 
So I'm going to leave it there. i got a little more cleanup tune up to do. I'm going to go ahead and dust some things. I need to just make sure all the little curtain pleats and all that are the way that they're supposed to be. Go ahead and maybe do some initial measurements with the SB16s as well. Super excited. Four subwoofers in the Techthusiasm Home Theater. One other thing that I'll probably make some comments on in a future vlog, especially with more subwoofer power in the room, I know some of my recessed light trims are rattling, particularly the ones in the back. So I need to do something to kind of lock those down, putty them down, add some absorption, uh, keep, keep that rattling to a minimum because we're going to be punching up the base power in the room here. And I'm tired, I'm sweating, moving heavy subwoofers around. I was just watching uh, Hater A Cowboys channel the other night. I dropped into one of his live streams and he was making the comment about wanting to only review or, or work with small light stuff and heavy subwoofers. Reviewing subwoofers is no small undertaking. But will the SVS be staying? I don't know yet. We'll see. After all the work to put them in, I think I probably would be happy to, to, to leave these here for quite a while to come. But we got to measure them up, see how they perform. Let me know what you would like to see uh, more in these vlog type videos. Let me know what you want to hear about the SVS SB16 Ultras. If you want to buy some SVS gear, there's a direct affiliate link in the description below. Otherwise, of course, if you'd like to support the channel, shop with my other friends, Audio Advice, Ryan at Ascend AV. Amazon, and others down there as well. Otherwise, please do all that regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video. Leave some comments. Let's talk. Thanks so much for watching. Coming back for a whole lot more home theater discussion and fun.